your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Good morning, Holly Collins, Baptist Church family and friends. Praise God. Welcome to our in-person and virtual morning worship service. To God be the glory. I greet you all this morning in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I give honor also to my husband and senior pastor, Dr. John Melvin Wooten, on this morning. And I give honor to each and every one of you. Pray with me, if you will. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus to give you thanks on this morning. We thank you, God, for blessing us to see another day. God, we thank you for your many mercies to our God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, God, for your unfailing love. God, we ask that you forgive us for our transgressions, and we ask that you create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Help us to walk worthy of our calling, God. Bless this service so that you will be glorified in all that we say and do on today. Bless those that are here as well as those that are watching from home. Continue, Lord, to heal the sick. Continue to deliver and set free according to your will. And then, God, we ask that you bless your man's servant that's going to bring the word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we continue, I have a few announcements. And the first one is, it's voting time. Amen. Amen. This is a very important issue election that's coming up and early voting will begin October the 15th through the 31st. Please take advantage of it and to help you understand uh, who the candidates are, we have a sample ballot for you today in the lobby. You can go over the list and it will better inform you. Amen. It is imperative that every citizen get out and vote. Amen. And I would like to say there is no need to complain about what's going on in the nation. But there is a need to vote. Amen. Praise God. I have another announcement. This month we are celebrating our pastor's anniversary. This is 19th anniversary. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. And we thank God for our pastor. And yes, we love him, and we're going to show him just how much we love him, amen, by celebrating him. Amen. Amen. On next Sunday, October the 18th, and fourth Sunday, October the 25th. Amen. And the reason we celebrate him both Sundays is because how the service is broken up. We're going to celebrate him on those Sundays at 11 o'clock in our morning worship service. And if he has been a blessing to you, amen, through this ministry, for those of you who are watching at home, or our Facebook friends, if you, even you, have been blessed by this man of God, you too can be a blessing to him and help him celebrate this pastor's anniversary. Amen. amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. You can give your tithe offering as well as a gift to the pastor. Through uh, by bringing it by the church on Monday, on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays between the hours of four and six, Amen. You can also mail your tithes and offerings to Higher Calling Baptist Church, forty thirty six Ward Boulevard, Wilson, North Carolina two seven eight nine three, or you can donate on our website, which is HCBC W I L S O N. NC. Amen. And those of you who are here on today, we ask that you would leave your tithe and offerings or whatever gift you have today as you leave. Amen. As you exit the sanctuary. Thank you. Reverend Gear is asked, Reverend Gear, who is the chairman of the Pastors Anniversary Committee, he would like to meet with the ministers that are here on today briefly after service. Amen. How many of you are excited? Hallelujah. Praise God. Be excited because it's time for the word already. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God. Hallelujah. It's time for the word of God. And we thank God for the angel of this church. Amen. 
We thank God for our gift to higher calling. We thank God for our man of God. We thank God for our God's man servant and our pastor, Dr. John Melvin Wooten. Amen. Come on, y'all. Let's celebrate him as he comes to give us a word on today. Hallelujah.
Come on in here. If you know the Lord will turn your situation around, you ought to throw up your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. He's able to turn it around for your good. God, we all the glory. Certainly we thank God. Amen. Amen. It is a blessing just to be in the house. Of the Lord. Is anybody glad about being in the house on the day? Certainly we thank God for those of you who are here with us and for those of you who are uh, sharing with us via Facebook live stream. We thank God for you as well. <clears throat> thank God for these preachers that are here today. Amen. We are mighty blessed to have them with us. Reverend James Gear is in the pulpit. Amen. Reverend Christine Adams. Amen. Reverend Lefty Whitley. Amen. Amen. Reverend Valerie Jones. Reverend Sherry Curry. Amen. Amen. Reverend Sherry Jenkins. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for her as well. Amen. I don't think I missed anybody this time. Amen. To God be the glory. There's a word from the Lord today. Amen. Not going to be very long. Amen. And, and pray for your pastor. Amen. 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 God is good. All the time. Amen. From the book of St. John. Chapter 2, the book of St. John. Chapter 2. I'm going to read 10 verses there. I'm going to read 10 verses, starting at verse number 1. This will be from the New King James Version. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. You know what? Let me stop, y'all. I got stopped because I said I didn't miss anybody. I don't know how in the world I missed my whole bowl of sugar. Amen. Amen. I can't be missing my bowl of sugar. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. We thank God for her. Now, can we start back over at first one? Amen. Amen. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. When the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. Jesus said to her, woman, what does that have to do with us? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were six stone water pots set there for the Jews or the Jewish customs of purification, containing 20 or 30 gallons each. Jesus said to them, Now fill the water pots with water. So they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it to him. When the head waiter tasted the water, which had become wine and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew. The head water called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves the good wine first. Uh -huh. And when the people have drunk free, then he serves the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. I mean, you may be seated in the house of God. I want to use for a thought very briefly today. Has your wine run out? Has your wine run out? You know, when it comes to managing our time, most of us simply are not good stewards. Many of us, both in and out of church, oftentimes find ourselves burning the candle at both ends. And because we do not use our time wisely, we tend to become easily burned out. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Listen. We spend so much time doing those things which really don't matter when it comes to the kingdom of God that we don't have time to handle those things which do matter in the kingdom. And most of us have been there. 
Most of us have had seasons where we were at a loss when it comes to doing the things of God. Amen. Most of us have, have at some point lost our zeal. Most of us have experienced a time that just going to worship was a chore. Most of us have had times when it seemed like our wine had just run out. But I'm glad today that I serve a God who knows what we go through. And God is able to replenish and restore what runs out. Y'all praying with me? In the text, the Apostle John tells us of a marriage feast that was going on in the Jewish village of Cana. Mm -hmm. now, now understand that in those days, it was customary for the host to serve wine all week long at a Jewish wedding celebration. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we find here in the text that not very long after the feast had began, the wine ran out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, I would like to suggest to you, just, just for this teaching moment, that the wine running out is representative of the spiritual energy mm -hmm. and the spiritual zeal of a whole lot of folk in the body of Christ today. Amen. You see, in this time of pandemic, a whole lot of believers have lost their zeal for serving the Lord. God help me today. We, we have been isolated for so long. We, we have been shut off from fellowship with other believers for so long that many of us are just running out of zeal for God and for the things of God. There are a whole lot of us who are turning away from virtual church, turning away from virtual Bible study because they are mentally drained from the anxiety and the uncertainty of our times. And their spiritual energy is just gone. In fact, their wine has run out. Now, 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 for the sake of this teaching, the wedding feast is a representation of our new life in Jesus Christ. Amen. For just as a man and woman are joined together in marriage, so are believers joined to Christ after accepting him as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. The Bible declares that we are buried with him in baptism. That like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. Are y'all in here? So, so, so the wedding feast is a representation of our new life in Christ. And at this feast, the wine that is being served is symbolic of the believer's zeal, his hope, peace, joy, and energy in Jesus Christ. Pray with me now. The wine is what every believer, every one of us as believers, every one of us who are in the body of Christ ought to have in abundance. But I find today that there are a whole lot of folk who are beaten and broken and defeated because they have run out of wine. They run out of joy. They, they, they run out of peace. And so they get caught up in all kinds of temptations. They're easily distracted, easily led astray, and they start doing the very things that they were delivered out of. Some of us have been, play, have been playing church since March. Yeah, there's some folk who call themselves believers. Amen. Have been doing nothing but going through the motions. Still look holy. Yeah. Still look good on the outside. But on the inside, they are empty. On the inside, their spirit man is exhausted. They've got nothing left to draw from. 
The wine has run out. Amen. And as a result, their prayer life is ineffective. Their praise and worship is almost non-existent. Can't pray their way out of nothing. Can't praise God the way they used to because their wine has run out. God help us today. Look, the text says in verse 3, you see it, it says that the wine mm -hmm. ran out. Yeah. Now it was a shameful and humiliating thing for the family hosting the wedding feast to run out of wine. Mm -hmm. It was an unthinkable thing. And I want to tell you, saints of God, that it is a shameful thing for God's church to run out of joy. Yes. 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 It's a shameful thing for, for believers to run out of hope, peace, and, and spiritual zeal. Yes. Amen. You see, believers ought to have so much Jesus on the inside that we never run out of that. Yes. However, Jesus. if you do, there is a way to restore the joy that you once had. Amen. And I got a couple of points from this text and then I'm going to sit down. First of all, if you if, if, if you if your wine has run out, uh -huh. then you got to go to the source. Yes. 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 In, in verse three, Amen. You still got your Bibles open? Yes. John writes that that when they wanted wine, uh -huh. the mother of Jesus said unto him, "They have no wine." Uh -huh. Who she said to? She said it to Jesus. Uh -huh. Amen. Look at the insight of Mary. Amen. Mary knew what had to be done. And she knew who to go to to get it done. You know what? Maybe it was a holiday. Or maybe it was after hours. But apparently, those who sold wine were unavailable. In any case, Mary knew that they were not going to get any wine from in, in any conventional way. So she didn't waste time fooling around with folk. Amen. Mary didn't jump into no uh, $100 prayer line. Oh, she didn't grab hold of no 10-step blessing plan. Amen. But Mary went straight to the source. Yeah. She went to the divine one. She went to Jesus, who is very God of very God. And likewise, Every one of us needs to learn how to go to Jesus whenever we've got a legitimate need. Yes. You want to learn how to go to God the Son because God the Son is our source. Yes. Does the Bible teach that God is our refuge and strength? Yes. A very present help in trouble? Yes. And Paul teaches in the book of Acts chapter 17 that in him we live and move and have our being. Yes. Amen. I'm trying to tell you today that God is our source. Yes. And not only that, but God is available when you need him. Yes. That means that no matter what you are going through, no matter how bad it gets, yes. God the Son is a very present help. He's available. And if you need healing, if you need deliverance, if you need restoration, if you need a refreshing, then all you got to do is go to the source. Go to the divine one. Go to Jesus, who is the source of all blessing. Turn off that TV for just a little while. Turn off a Facebook and go to God in fervent prayer. And I declare unto you that if you go to the source, then God will hearken unto you. For well, this is the confidence that we have in our God. That if we ask him for anything according to his will, then he will hear us. Is there anybody in here today who will take all your troubles to the Lord in prayer? Wait a minute. All right. I, I got to close. All right. I got to close. But remember now, when your wine 
runs out. You got to go to the source. Uh -huh. But when you get to the source and reveal to him your need, then you got to follow his instructions. Thank God a good God. Hallelujah. You got to follow his instructions. Notice in verse 7. Jesus instructed the servants. He said to them, fill the water pots with water. Uh -huh. Amen. Now, 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 now. Those water pots, amen, were made of stone. They were hard, mm -hmm. empty vessels, mm -hmm. ready to be used. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God help us yeah. today. Thank you, God. The, the, the water pots are representative of you and I. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. And what did Jesus say do? Fill the water pots yeah. with water. Mm -hmm. now, 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 in one sense, water is a symbol of the word of God. For Jesus told his disciples, now are you clean mm -hmm. through the word I have spoken to you. I'm beginning to feel all right, y'all. Yes, yes. Paul talked in Ephesians, mm -hmm. amen, that Jesus gave himself for the church yes, yes. that he might sanctify and cleanse it with water by the word of God. Amen. And by the washing of water. By the word of God. Are y'all with me? Amen. Jesus said fill the water pots with water. Yeah. And oh my beloved. When you lose your joy. When your peace and hope has run out on you. Yeah. And you got no more spiritual energy. Yeah. You got to follow the Lord's instruction. Yes, yes. Thank God a good God. Yes, yes. You've got to fill yourself yes, yes. with the word of yes, God. Yes. And you got to have the mentality yes. of that blessed man in the first song. Mm -hmm. And your delight must be in the law of the Lord. Yes. And you've got to meditate on it yes. both day and night. Yes, yes. Are y'all in here? Amen. And when you fill yourself with God's word, then God's word will recharge your inner man and build up your spirit. The word of God will convict you of sin before you ever sin. And it will give you a way of escape. When you fill yourself with the word of God, You'll be able to say like David, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. I'm going to my seat now. But after you find the source and start to follow his instruction, then God will allow you to feast on the good. Yeah. Now, now when I say feast, I mean, I mean to take pleasure in. Yeah, I mean to enjoy something immensely. Are y'all in here? And when you have found the source, when you have filled yourself with the word of God, then you'll be able to feast on the goodness of the Lord. I got to quit y'all, but your joy will be restored. Your strength will be renewed. I don't know about you, but I'm glad today that when our wine runs out, we can go to Jesus, and Jesus will freely give us of the good wine. Isaiah 53, the Messiah invites us. He said, Hold everyone who thirsts, come to the water. And you who have uh, no money, come by and eat. Woo! Yes, uh, come by wine and milk. Uh, without money and without price, uh, I'm done. Uh, 
but I need to encourage somebody before I sit down. You've been in your house since the pandemic begun. And although you tried to stay on task, although you tried to be about worship, still you've lost your energy. You've lost your zeal. And now it's hard to focus, hard to study, hard to pray. Your wine has run out. Can't praise God like you used to. Can't feel his presence like you used to. The isolation is getting to you. And you're feeling burnt out. You're getting weaker day by day. And right now, you're just going through the motion. Yeah. I came to declare unto you that if you go to the Lord Jesus, who is the source of all our blessing, if you follow the Lord's instructions, then God will turn it around. He won't even turn it around. He'll turn it around for you. He'll renew your strength. He'll restore your joy. Give you more energy. And you'll be able to tell yourself uh, and tell the whole world, I believe I want to. I believe I want to. To see what the end is going to be. I'm going to stop right there. Hallelujah. 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 If your wine has run out, go to Jesus who gives to us freely. Hallelujah. And guess what? He ain't mad with you. He said, ho everyone. Ho everyone. Amen. Who thirsts, come to the water. Hallelujah. Now, if you heard this message today, and you want to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I offer you the Christ. I offer you the chance to get to know him for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell you something? Jesus loves you. Amen. No matter who you are uh -huh. or what you have done, My God. he loves you. And today is your day. Oh, Will you come Amen. and make Jesus Lord. the Lord of your life? If you're watching me via Facebook Live and you want to get to know Jesus, bow your head and say this prayer with me. Holy Father, I come to you a sinner. But I want to be saved today. I believe in your son Jesus. I believe he died the death of the cross. But he rose from the grave three days later. And now sits at your right hand. I repent of my sins. And I accept Jesus into my heart. Save me, Father. Save me in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, if you said that prayer, you are now saved and a member of the family of God. I welcome you, amen, to our family. Now, if you would like to be a part of the Higher Calling Baptist Church, please contact us through our Facebook page, amen, or through our website. Listen, beloved, maybe you heard this message today and you already say, but you don't have a church home. I invite you to come. I invite you to worship and serve God here with us at Higher Calling Baptist Church. If you desire to do so, please contact us through our Facebook page or through our website. Or if you're in this sanctuary now, you may come at this time. Hallelujah.
God be the glory. Now, today, as we prepare to end our broadcast, the High Calling Baptist Church dance team is going to minister in tribute to the pastor appreciation month. But to those of you who are on Facebook Live, thank you so much for sharing with us today. Listen, you may join us Wednesday night at 6.30 for Bible study, where I will be teaching from Psalm 19. Thank God for Reverend Sherry Jenkins, who has stood in for me during my illness. She has been a wonderful teacher, and we thank God for her. Beloved, please remember to keep a check on your family and on the elderly. Amen. Please receive our dance team.
Another hand. Now, as you leave this sanctuary on today, I want you to remember that regardless of what is being said on television or on social media or what it looks like to you or how bad this pandemic may seem to get, you are not a victim. Amen. 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 If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, then you can rest assured that the God we serve will always cause us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Can the church shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Can the church shout hallelujah again? Hallelujah. Can you stand to your feet so we can be dismissed? Thank God for the choir on today. Thank God for our musicians. Thank God for our ushers. Amen. And all of you, we thank God for you. Uplift your hands. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Let us all shout amen. 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 God bless you. We are dismissed.